this is the IT Ranger and today we'll be making our ninth Java tutorial our ninth Java tutorial and today we're going to be taking a little bit stuff further with well we're not going to really talk about variables we're actually going to be making a more complex program and we're going to be using uh, something new and it's called constants and we're going to be using constants inside of our income tax calculator so today we're going to be building a income tax calculator that computes a person's income tax so um, basically what the person's income tax is we want to and what I did is I kind of wrote uh, the program out in like five bullets with um, with little and so what it is is basically the pseudocode the pseudocode is actually the program written in English so right here as you see all of this is basically the program written in English so we know when we're doing my program we're like hey well we want to have a constant that has it and it's, and it's going to be called tax rate and it's going to equal 20 percent so it basically keeps you from it keeps you organized and it keeps you from kind of scrambling around when you're doing your pseudocode language and it keeps everything organized and helps you develop a program much 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 faster all right oh yeah I almost forgot so um, I want to give some shout outs like I do on most of my tutorials to my newcomers and my new subscribers um, welcome to the IT Ranger community guys and I hope you all you guys all enjoy and let me go ahead and shout you guys out. So the first one is got 888, Mr. Passes 77, Oxweed, Z Developers, Vortex, PKNYO, Dane Magruder, and Code Commentators. I thank you guys for all subscribing and I hope you guys enjoy my channel and leave feedback anytime you have questions. So this is you're welcome to leave anything you want to leave and ask any type of questions. So let's go ahead and get started with our income tax calculator. So go ahead and open up Eclipse and let's go ahead and start a new project file new and start a new project I'm gonna call this project income tax or income tax calculator and we're basically calling the program the project what it's going to do so it's gonna be the income tax calculator and finish all right and let's go ahead and instantiate um, income tax calculator and let's go ahead and make our class new class and you really don't have to start a new project if you don't want to you can kind of make a just make another class in any type of folder um, but I prefer you to make another project just to stay organized so let's call our class income tax calculator alright so we call our class income tax calculator and let's go ahead and check our public static void method and uncheck inhabited abstract methods and finish all right so there we go so the first thing I want to do is is I went over my shooter code we're going to be having the user put input or we're going to be taking input from the user so the first thing I want to do is um, as I went over in my last tutorial um, we're going to import our java.util.scanner so that we want to import this package so it can actually scan with the user inputs. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and, and put our constants. We need to put our constants. And what a constant is, a constant is a variable that does not change and it remains the same at all times no matter what. So basically it's a final and the constant cannot change no matter what happens. So it's going to stay the same throughout your program and the user really doesn't have anything to do with the constant. The constant is something that only the programmer C's. So what we're going to do is now we're going to do our constants. Our first constant is going to be our our first constant is going to be the person's tax rate. And the tax rate, well, it's not the person's. The standard tax rate is always 20%. So let's go ahead and do final double and let's do tax rate equals point well 0 0.20 and basically 0 0.20 stands for the 20 percent which is that tax rate and the next one we do is final int and we'll make this an integer because well let's just make it a double it can be a double too let's make it double standard deduction and the standard deduction is going to equal to ten thousand dollars because that's the standard deduction from every from in the income tax for our program, we're going to have our program have a standard deduction of ten thousand dollars, 
Um, I'm, I'm not sure if that's actually. I think it's. I think that's how it is now. It still should be like that now, but it maybe maybe changed now. But for our program, we're going to do that. So if you're going to be doing it professionally, make sure you have all the. Make sure you have your numbers correct. <laughs> Let's just say that. So final double, and we're going to make the double equal to the dependent. No, dependent deduction. And the dependent deduction for our program is going to be two thousand dollars. All right, so there we go. So we just instantiated our variable, our constants or our variables that remain the same, and we don't want these. We want all, all these to stay set to all their what well, we made them equal to. We want these to stay the same. All right. So the next one to do is, um, like we always do, we need to go ahead and import and call our scanner into the program. So we're going to do scanner equals well scanner reader equals new scanner system dot in all right there we go so we just called our scanner into the program to scan the user's input so let's go ahead and we need to make our next variables um and then we have more variables to do because we actually have to be taking income input from the user so the first input input from the user we're going to be taking is a double and the double is going to be her gross or his gross income and this is going to be input from the user all right, and the second one to do is it's going to be integer because this integer is going to be the number. Let's do num dependence, and we want this to be an integer because the integer uh, you can't have a half a person, so you only can have a whole number for a person. So you can say, hey, I have four dependents, I have three dependents. It's always going to be your whole number. We don't want to anyone to say, hey, I have 4.5 dependents, which is not possible. You can't have a half a person. So, so let's keep moving. So this one is going to be input to, input from the user. And the next one is going to be a double. And this double is going to be a taxable income, which is going to be the taxable income and this is going to be calculation this is going to be our calculation so let's go calculate it calculate it and uh, spell that wrong should be here there all right so calculate it and let's spell it wrong again whoa Troy what are you doing guy whoa calculated Q-hated, whoa, got my...